I was very fortunate as a kid to be brought up by my dad and also by my grandfather. At different times, I, I lived with both of them for extended periods of time. So, so I grew up with, with both of them at different times, of course. Uh, my dad and my grandfather were, my grandfather was his father-in-law, so he was my dad's, my mom's dad. So I got to live with both of them, and they, they were both two different people. My dad's still alive. My grandfather passed on about a year ago. But they, they, they have both had different ways of seeing the economy, different ways of seeing life, different, different ways of seeing work. They were both pastors at some point in their lives. So in, in a sense, they were the same, you know, Christian men and, and, you know, they fear God and stuff like that. But they had very different ways of looking at life. Now, what this video is about is, is talent versus hard work. And this is a really important and this is this is something that that I see a lot. I want to talk about this because hopefully I can help somebody with this video. Now, sometimes with my grandfather, we were out. He had heavy equipment. He had back holes, loaders, stuff like that. And sometimes we'd, we'd be out there, you know, digging trenches or leech lines, leech fields, um, doing different things on a back hole or a back loader or cutting a pad or something. And he'd get a call from one of his rental properties because he had rental properties. And, and he said, you know what? He would say that we got to go fix a water heater or a leak or something, right? So this happened many, many times. We'd, we'd go into the tenant's uh, house because he only had homes, just single family homes. And we'd go in there and we'd knock on the door. They'd, op they'd open up. They'd say, yeah, the bathroom's clogged or the water heater's not running or something. So this this would happen. We'd, 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 walk, we'd walk in. Usually it's a living room and then... Usually the dad or the man of the house or the tenant would be sitting there watching TV and and we'd have to say, excuse me, excuse me, we're, we're, we're going to go take care of this. We'd walk in, take care of it, in and out. And it was a little bit, um, we had to be walking across a guy, guys watching TV and we're walking across and saying, excuse me, and stuff like that. And many times after we got on the truck, he would tell me, my grandfather would tell me, you know why, why he's always going to be a tenant? Because look at what he's doing with his free time. And, and I'm not here to judge anybody or criticize anybody or tell anybody how to live life. That, that's, that, that's not what this video is about. This video is about the difference between talent and hard work. Now, I'm not saying those guys were not talented. They probably had a lot of talent. But they were wasting a lot of time on something where they could be learning something. And that's why, that's why my grandfather would always think, he was an old-timer, of course, so, so his mindset might have been different than, than what's, what people understand today, but I think I learned something from, from, from what the years being with him, he would always say, that's why he's always going to be a tenant. He's never going to own a house because look at what he's doing with his free, with his free time. I remember my grandfather, uh, when I was really, really young, he still worked at a company. He worked at a electrical company. And, and if he started work at seven at, you'd hear him out at six, doing something, doing some repairs around the house or heavy equipment, the trucks, something, and then he'd go to work. After work, he'd come home, eat something, and keep on working. So he was a very, very disciplined man. And, and he didn't lose a lot of time with entertainment, let's say. Even though Sundays, of course, he was always at church. Sundays was his, his day to dedicate it to God, so Sundays he would not work. But he didn't have a lot of talent in, 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 in a sense. I mean, he was a really, really good heavy equipment operator, for sure. And he was a good builder. But, for example, he never learned English. He lived in this country for, I don't know, I want to say 60 years maybe, somewhere in there. And he never really learned English. So he didn't have that talent, but that never stopped him. He was still a hard worker. He still, his work was, was more important than, than talents, in a sense. Now, sometimes I go into people's apartments and I walk in there and I see these guys are 25, 35, 45 and I see they have really nice monitors and a really nice gaming setup. And, and I go in there and I walk in that apartment and do some repairs. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, man, you're going to be a tenant forever. I don't see how they're going to buy a property or a house or, or advance in life when that's what they're doing with their free time. I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm not saying that buying the property is the right thing to do. I'm, that's none of my business. I'm not here for that. But there are people especially those people that I'm talking about that are, that are always wasting a lot of time, that are the ones that are usually the ones complaining about everything. 
I go in there and they say, this is ridiculous. We put the work order in yesterday. How come you guys have just got here today? And and this is ridiculous. And, and this company's this and that company's that. And, and you guys are so ridiculous. I, I don't understand why. And I hear them. And then if you if you have a conversation with them, sometimes they'll go into how ridiculous the government is. And, and, and they have a whole list of complaints. But, but I see them and I'm thinking, man, what are you doing to change it? Are you waiting for the world to change? around you so you're more comfortable or are you doing something to change so even though there's there's a lot of people out there that are very 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 talented talent is not going to get you anywhere really talent gets you nowhere unless it comes with hard work but hard work without talent will get you somewhere so even if you're talented you don't really have that much of an advantage Unless you put in the hard work. We've all known of somebody that's really a talented painter or a talented singer. Or we all know somebody like that that's really talented. And you're thinking, man, why is this guy not famous? Well, that's why. Because they're not putting in the hard work. Talent does not get you anywhere. There's, there's no guarantee that talent's going to get you anywhere. And matter of fact, I, I'll say it. Talent won't get you anywhere. It's hard work that'll get you anywhere. Now, if it's accompanied by talent, then you, you can get a lot further. But talent really is not going to get you anywhere. Now, another thing that I see a lot is people just wasting a lot of time watching their phones or their tablets or their monitors or TVs or whatever, just being entertained. And it's funny because we're humans and we love to be entertained. We, we, it's, it's, it's fun. It, it's, it's good. The hours go by and, 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 and you, you get entertained, your mind stimulated and stuff like that. But you're just losing a lot of time. If you're stuck where you're at and, and you're spending hours on entertainment, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I got to say it. That's why you're going to be a tenant the rest of your life. I don't see how you're going to get anywhere without the hard work. It, it takes hard work to do anything. I, I got to travel most of the country as a drummer. And I will say it, and I've always said it, I've never been a good drummer. I've never been really talented, but I was very disciplined. So when I started I didn't play the drums till I was 30. That's that's when I started playing the drums. So that's pretty old for somebody to start playing the drums. But by the time I was 35, I was touring the whole country, part of Mexico, as a drummer. Not because of my talent. There's got to be some talent involved, of course. I'm not going to say there isn't because I got to give thanks to the creator for giving me some talent. But I'm not very, very talented. I, I know many, many guys, almost, almost any drummer that I know is more talented than me. But they didn't put in the hard work, a lot of them. And, and they were stuck for, you know, playing, doing little gigs or little stuff because they didn't put in the hard work. Now, this video is not about me. What I'm, trying to, what I'm trying to get back to saying is that if you don't put hard work into anything you're doing, and, and that's, that includes learning. Sometimes I spend my afternoons watching my phone, but I'm not watching movies or entertainment or, or laughing at dumb videos, silly videos of people dancing and doing um, tricks or whatever. I'm watching. I'm watching YouTube videos. I'm. I'm learning. I'm always learning something. I. I'm. I'm. I'm learning things I may never use, but it's okay. I'm always watching videos. I'm always. Always trying to learn. Yeah, my body's resting, but my mind is still active. My mind is still learning. So, what I'm trying to say is that this is not a preaching. I'm not here to criticize anybody. My my idea is that if you don't want to be a tenant. For the rest of your life, I would do something else with my time. If if and I know there's people that 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 will say, you know what, I have two jobs. I don't even have time to watch TV. And that vi this video is not for you. This video is definitely not for you. If you're a gamer and you're making hundreds of dollars on 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 gaming or thousands of dollars, then this video is not for you because you obviously have a different mindset. This video is for people that are just losing a lot of time and are upset because the world isn't going the way they want it to go. I hope this doesn't offend anybody. I hope this video helps somebody. Maybe if you see the perspective of the other side and why I think the way I think, maybe this will help you understand a little bit of how, why some people are successful and why some people are just losing a lot of time being entertained. Well, God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.